So I've been playing Wordle on my phone for the past few days and I still haven't won a single game. Not only that, but I'm constantly reminded of my intellectual inferiority with ads like, playing this game for 20 minutes a day will raise even the lowest of IQs. Neuroscientists are begging your dumb ass to play this game. And this, what the fuck is this? So I decided to remake Wordle without annoying ads and without having to spend real money to finally win my first game. Now I usually make games with Unreal Engine, but for a game as simple as Wordle, that might be a little overkill. Or would it? No, it definitely would. So we're going to use good old HTML, CSS, and JavaScript to do the job. So if you haven't played Wordle, the objective is to correctly guess a random 5 letter word, which might sound impossible with an estimated 158,000 5 letter words in the English language, according to freedictionary.com, while other sites have said there are only 5,000 words. I mean, how is there that much of a difference in their estimates? But Wordle tries to make it a little less impossible by giving you hints by highlighting previously used letters that are in the word, which still doesn't really help a dimwit like me. So let's start off by making a keyboard, which is basically just a few rows of buttons. So it was pretty easy to make. Then I copied the exact same code to make the grid. Then I added an enter and delete button and we were ready to start writing the actual logic of the game. So to handle the grid where the guest letters would be placed, I decided upon using a multi-dimensional array, which if you try to visualize it, is exactly like this 6x5 grid, with each value of the parent array containing another array to represent each row. To add a letter to the array item, I tracked the current index and did some simple math to find the row and column it should be placed in, which is obviously not the best way to do it, but it's good enough for a game as simple as this, right? Then I checked to see if the row was filled in, and if it was, stopped them from typing any more letters. Now when they hit enter, it's supposed to check if the word they entered is actually a real word. So I found a list of every single 5 letter word in the English language, and just checked to see if the entered word was in the list. Now to generate the answer, we're not going to use the full list of 5 letter words, since you probably haven't heard of half of them. I mean, what even are these words? Oxlip? Tufas? Molas? I don't think anyone has even uttered the word molas unless you're a dentist in Long Island. So we're going to use a simplified list of 2500 words that everyone knows like bacon and balls. So to add colors to the correct letters, I just looped through each character in the word to see which ones were used and colored them either green or yellow according to their index position. Now that the game itself is done, we need to style it because right now it's looking pretty disheveled. Kind of like me after spending 18 hours trying to fix a single bug in my multiplayer game's code. So the first thing I did was add this gradient background to the page and then applied a backdrop filter to the grid and keyboard to give it a nice glassy look. I also added a 3D tilt effect when you hover over the boxes to give it a bit more depth so it doesn't look so flat anymore. Then I made the colored letters have a glow to them by adding a drop shadow and also added a title to the page just in case someone somehow stumbled upon this website and didn't know what game they were playing. To top it all off, I changed the font to give it a nice modern look. So now we're finally done, and the total development time was around an hour to make the base game with a bit more time taken to style it and fix some bugs with element positioning. Now I tried to get this game done as fast as possible to challenge myself so I wouldn't be surprised if there's tons of bugs in it but I guess I should try playing it to see if I can finally win a game for the first time. And if you want to play the game, I'll have a link in the description as well. All right, let's start off with start, obviously. And let's go with Sans. Try that out. And you know, it's, let's go with Sunny, because it's definitely not sunny outside here. Now, what other words start with S-U and end with Y? Wait, no, it can't possibly be that, can it? I don't think that's even a word. No way. Amogus. 